Do you want to play with us? Play along with a week of brand new episodes of Blues Room. Play dress up. First we need costumes. Oh yeah, costumes. Play music. Did I hear somebody say music? Play make believe and more. <laughs> choo choo. There are so many ways to play with Blue in the gang. How about you? Yeah, you're gonna play too, right? Yeah. It's a week of new Blues Room episodes. Continuing this morning at 10 on Nick Jr. Hooray! It's the 2009 Earth Day Odyssey. Eureka! Join our big green helpers as they protect the planet one adventure at a time. All right. Help rescue a raccoon before he's recycled. The raccoon's freaking out. On a brand new Wonder Pets. Ride a rocket to save Wesselberg on a onesie premiere. Oh, no! And join an energy-saving mission on an all-new Olivia. Here we go. Plus, enjoy a full day of environmentally awesome adventures. The 2009 Earth Day Odyssey. Wednesday, starting at 9. Only on... Butterfly flaps its wings. The puppy goes... Woof, woof. That's a meow, meow. Seven. I'm five right now. Five and three quarters. You can own the adventure of the Swan Princess on DVD. In a magical land, Odette and Derek were about to live happily ever after. Arrange the marriage! Until Rothbart's evil spell threatened it all. As soon as Moonlight leaves the lake, you turn back into a swan. Where is Odette? Now, to get Odette back, Derek and his friends will have to face a sorcerer of unspeakable power. Around us. They'd hurt us if they found us. Our backs are to the wall. No fear. No way, Jose. No time. No choice. No fear. With Jack Palance as Lord Rothbard. That is mine. John Tess as the voice of Jean Bob. I'm open! I'm open! And Stephen Wright as Speed. Get moving, Slowpoke. The Swan Princess on DVD. And the adventure continues. The Swan Princess faces a new danger. But with the help of Prince Derek and a few old friends, they'll defeat an evil sorceress. <laughs> you will never get away with this. Whoa! You gotta get out of here, Odette! I've fought the Forbidden Lots before, but I am not going to lose Odette. The Swan Princess and the Mystery of the Enchanted Treasure. And also available for the first time on DVD, The Swan Princess, where it all began. Listen, you little wiseacre. I'm big. You're little. I'm right. You're wrong. When you're very small, the world is a very big place. But for Matilda, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Own the special edition DVD, loaded with all new fun and exciting games and activities. <laughs> Matilda, coming soon to DVD. <laughs> There once was a herd of elephants. And they all say, <laughs> Do it again. Oh, no, I can't do it again because then Daddy may have an aneurysm. Charlie Hinton could afford to give his son everything. Princess for preschools. You say this Chapman is the best, right? It's the best. Our son gets the best. But everything is about to change. We're shutting down the whole division. How was your day? I lost my J-O-B. Bye, baby. I'll be at the office. Okay, well, just make sure you call us and let us know when you're coming back. We'll be here waiting, just the two of us. From Revolution Studios. I need a job, a real job. So I cook. Desperate times. I'm going to open a decent daycare program around here. They make a killing. Call for desperate measures. A daycare center, you and me. You already taken care of one. Can I much harder can ten be? <sighs> ten times. Do you know what type of responsibility that is? Yes, and I'll be just as careful with them as I am with Ben. Oh, hey, man, don't be just rubbing your head into stuff. Now they're prepared to go. I give it three days. Where no daddy has gone before. Can't men do anything that women can do? No, no, we can't. Welcome to Daddy Daycare. Don't panic, because they're like animals. They can smell fear. D-Day. We're going to have to up our game today, all right? We need some structure and some planned activities. Ah! Ah! Who 
need Ritalin and Leashes. That's what we need. He's coming. Okay, you're going to take these and go on with your bad self. Eddie Murphy. Hey, big guy. How you going there? Missed. What does that mean? Missed. What? Adventure. Wouldn't it be cool if I actually flew this thing? There's only one problem. Mom. We have to get her learn to grow. I let him drive his car to school. No other mother does that. But you never know when adventure ah! is going to drop in. Whoa! Ah! Hey, where's the Falcon? Falcon? What, what Falcon? That Falcon! Drive! Meet ah! Margaret. She's gonna be staying with us for a while. You can use my cat's bed. You're the cat? Don't worry about that snowbell. You wouldn't know how to fly. <laughs> Whoa, those flies really come back on you. No. Hi there! Ah! Didn't mean to scare ya. Scare me? That's a laugh. <laughs> Hear that? That was a laugh. Stuart finally has someone. Isn't it nice that Stuart has a friend? With whom he can see eye to eye. Everybody around here thinks I'm too small to accomplish anything. Hey, the way I see it, you're as big as you feel. Yeah. Well, has anyone seen Margaro? But when trouble was in the air... Yeah, two unlikely partners... I think that Falcon got her. Do yourself a favor. Buy a parakeet and forget her. We're on the case. She's in terrible trouble, and I want to help her. I mean, what am I, a man or a mouse? Is that a trick question? What do you know about a bird called Falcon? Please, so fast you'd be talking poop before you can help my elf. I'm gonna be Falcon Poop! Take a little chance. Watch out! Please, don't hurt me. Take a little spin. This is now officially a litter box. And take off. Are you two still friends or can I eat him? No, Monty, you can't eat him. Please. On the biggest little adventure of them all. Stuart! 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 This has fiasco written all over it. Stuart Little 2. Where are you? In the Oh, okay, I'll wait. Hi, I'm Christy, and these are my friends. We're pretty tight. We even have our own club. Babysitter's Club, everybody knows us. That's because everybody uses us. I brought a little something for your little cousin. Where is he? Hi, I'm Luca, the little cousin. And you're? Your sitter, I guess. Are you going to kiss her? But this summer, a lot is going on. And it seems like a lot is changing. Dad? Yeah. Why are you here? I'm moving back. We're meeting different guys. Do you want to go to the movies with me tonight? Alan, get real. I am. Alan, go like you. <laughs> likes her? Or like, like her? <laughs> Trying to figure out some weird new feelings. Do you think I should have told her? What? I'm only 13. So? He's 17. And that's ancient! Keeping a few secrets. Have you seen Mom? I don't want her to really know I'm here yet. And basically, dealing with life. I just can't believe you're only 13! Honey, look us outside. Tell her I'm not here. It's like you're not with us, Christy. I missed you. You don't care about me, and everyone who does care about me is mad at me. What is going on? You like her. Yeah, you don't understand. Where is she? We have to find her. Christy's dad came back. You could never have known how the summer would turn out. But you know what? It's turning into a summer we'll never forget. From the pages of the best-selling books that have captivated a generation comes the movie about seven devoted friends, one amazing club. We spent some of the best years of our lives in this place. And the extraordinary summer that changed them all. We're more than just a club. We're friends. Best friends. Nothing could ever change that. The Babysitter's Club. We're rich. 
You should almost buy a car. And in five years, we can drive it.